five martial arts class, you'll discover the best beginner collie tutorial or collie stick tutorial. Grab your collie sticks, screaming sticks, any kind of martial arts fighting sticks, gum arnis, whatever you've got, follow me. Start with one in each hand. You need to have a little bit of the stick coming out of the bottom of the hand. That's so later you can strike with that. You can jab into the body, into the face. And you're defending yourself. This is a great, this is one of the best martial arts weapons for street fight self-defense. The collie stick, you can jab with that. You can also strip that out of their hand. Start with one in each hand. I want you to warm up by dropping them to your side and bringing them back. Just make sure your feet are under your body. Make a nice full range of motion. I'm going to stretch out the arms and the shoulders. Get that blood flowing. Bring your heart rate up a little bit. It's a good way to stay safe from injury during this workout. Now split that motion. One hand at a time. This is going to increase the leverage on that joint. Giving you more stretch, getting more blood in there, making those shoulders stronger, healthier, while you're warming up the whole body. It's also going to engage your core. Now, slow it down, bring the hands in, go into a wrist rotation, and twirl your collie stick down, palm out facing the sky, bring it around behind your back, and forward. This. I took all my martial arts uniforms home to wash them because they stink. I to wear a t-shirt today. Keep your hand closed as you do this rotation. Start to speed it up. Your hands are in close to your body. If it were out more like this, it's a different kind of rotation. There's not as much movement in your wrists because you're not as flexible farther away. A lot of speed here. Speed that up and then reverse it. Pulling back, pulling toward you, going forward, and back. And then I want you to go forward and down, and back and up. Getting a better feel for how these things move through space and time. When you start to strike and fight with your poly stick, you want to have good flexibility, you want to have good speed, good power, you don't want to come flying out of your hand, you're going to get that through this warm-up right here. Down and up, elbows in, and then split them through one hand and the other hand. Do it at the same time again. Each one of these warm-ups is about 30 seconds before you move on to the next one. And then do one down. Other one. And if you want, you can do them at the same time. It looks pretty simple. It took me a while to get this one. You see, I'm still smacking sticks. It's good though. It wakes you up. Teach you how to fight better. When you start to do your strikes. All right. Now you're warmed up. You're loosened up a little bit. Take one on each shoulder, and I want you to strike with the right over the first angle. Back with the second angle. One, two, one, two. Make sure you're going all the way through the target. Think uh, temple, cheek, or clavicle, the other side of the body. One, two, and then switch your feet. This is my left hand. My left foot's in the front. Slice one, slice two. And this arc motion of the slice is very important. You just come straight in like that. You can break your stick. And this is rattan. These aren't going to break that easily. But you still want to get a good habit, in a good habit of sliding it, sliding the arcing, slicing motion. So you've got the right foot and the left foot. Keep an angle one, angle two. One is going to come from the same side, depending on which hand it is. Same side, my left hand, my left side of the body. And then the opposite side, chambering all the way to the shoulder. Two is on the other side. One, two, one, two. A little bit quicker, 30 seconds here, speeding up, get your heart rate up. You can do your martial arts training. You work with collie fighting sticks. Do it in a way that you're going to get your heart rate up, break a little bit of a sweat. Increasing your speed, power. That's why this is such a great street fight self-defense weapon. Not only does it hit hard, but when you practice with it, it makes you stronger, 
leads you out faster. Now, do one, two, when the stick is down to the outside of the body, same side, you're going to turn your palm up, space in the sky like that, and slice through, coming the other way, slice through. And the reason that you turn it up, I saw again yesterday, someone teaching with another weapon, from the ground, come up like this. Uh, he turned it a little bit. You hit him right in the groin. The problem with that is if you hit anything like a body, especially a body in motion, any kind of force, you peel that straight out of your hand. If you turn it this way, it's not going to peel anything out of your hand. Don't lose your stick while you're fighting. Fight from behind your stick. One, two, palm up, and bring it through the other way. Straight up. And then to the other side, and up the other way. One, two, three, four, switch feet. One, two, three, four, one, two, a little bit quicker, a little bit faster. Again, 30 seconds. Once you get this motion down, you start to break the sweat. Move fast, fight fast. The best martial arts weapon, street fight self defense, is the one that you can move fast and fight fast with. And that's this college thing. All right, so you've done four angles one, two, three, four. Five and six are just horizontal. Bring it across here, bring it back. Bring it across here, bring it back. Putting five and six, uh, one of the first four, right foot forward, hold with the right. One, two, three, four, straight across, straight back, switching. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now you have six strikes, 30 seconds, starting to increase your speed gradually at first. Three, four, five, six. You never push yourself. You never fight fast. You never know what it feels like to fight fast. And when we're talking about street fight self defense, if you want to defend yourself for real, you have to be able to move as fast as you can. If not faster than the other person, you might not be able to do that. But as fast as you can to generate as much power, stopping power, and you can. You generate, especially with these, it's a force multiplier. Best uh, weapon for martial arts street fight self defense. That best weapon is the one that increases what you've got naturally, natural power. Put a stick in your hand, all the way to the end of the stick, that's where all that force and all that power is. You've increased it by a lot, exponentially. Now you can fight a bigger opponent with your sticks, because you have a stick. Don't lose your hand. I want to be able to hold it tightly. All right. Don't lose your grip is what I'm just saying. Just hold it tightly this way. Let's go back to this motion where we were going down and up. And instead of down, I want you to just bring it forward. See that? It's right in front of your body. And back. This is another drill. Work on flexibility, speed, power in your wrists. That's why this is the best beginner Kali stick fighting tutorial. Kali stick tutorial. Because we're doing drills. Not just the fighting, not just the strikes, and we'll do some center wally, we'll do that weaving. How do you get stronger, faster, more powerful strikes? This is one drill you can do. You don't need a lot of space. You don't need a high ceiling. This is going to give you stronger, faster strikes because your wrists, everything in here, are going to get healthier, stronger, more flexible. Endurance is going to Increase. Your hands aren't going to get so fatigued. They're not going to get tired from doing the exercise. And then, if you can, do one hand and the other one. One, two, one, two. Just you're just going back out to the front like you did before. And then, if you can, same time, just like the other one. A little quicker. A little quicker. One, two, one, two. That's something to work up to if you don't have it right from the start. Be patient with yourself. Allow yourself time to grow. Figure it out. Now, we did our strikes. Two, three, four, five, six, you know, on both sides. Let's put them together in what's called a Sinawali pattern or a weaving pattern. You'll see weaving just because you're crossing your body and not crossing your body. The most basic first. This is the best beginner poly stick tutorial. So I want you to learn how to do the most basic first. You're going to get this almost immediately. 
one on each side, elbows in, right, left, your hands are crossed. Remember, uh, Sinawali means weaving. And then pull the right back, pull the left back. Your hands are uncrossed. One, two, hands crossed. Get out of the cross like that. One, two, three, four. Now they're uncrossed. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Cross your hands. This is just pulling them back to get ready for the next strike. Chamber, right? Uncross your hands. Cross by striking, and then do move first angle, second angle. You know, first, you know, second, first, first, second, second. Think of a V. Down and up. V. One, two, three, four, and then I just cross the other way. That's all this is. So Sinawali, weaving, that's all weaving is, is or uh, braiding. If you've ever seen a girl's hair, if you're a girl, if you've ever braided your hair, a boy braided your hair, I don't know. One, two, I don't think I've ever had long enough hair for a braid. Maybe when I had that mullet back in high school. The back. The back was maybe long enough. I don't I don't think so though. Almost. I almost had it last week and I had clippers out and shaved. But don't look too closely. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I just did it because it was getting so puffy. It looked like I was wearing a helmet. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two. Four. One. So this is all this is. Yes, it's kind of a new set, but it's the most basic one. It's the easiest one to get from the start if you're patient with yourself, get your ego out of the way, get your ego out of the way, allow yourself not to be good at it. One, there's the V. Two, there's the other V. Angle one, angle two, that's where we started with our strikes. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're just doing the first two. One and over. One and over. Because this one's on top. That's the two now. Two and back. Two and back. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Angle one. Wait. Start from here. Well, that, that's the key. You get lost, always go back to your chamber. Go back to the starting point. One, one, two, two. One, one. Two, two, one, one, and ang one and two is angle one, angle two, angle one, angle two. So if you isolate one hand, this is all you're doing. If you isolate the other hand, this is all you're doing. It's the same thing, by the way, if you start doing um, nunchucks or fighting with uh, the, uh, who is it, Ahsoka Tano. <laughs> you know the reference I'm talking about. Star Wars, uh, people are asking me all the time, how do you fight? One uh, sword out this way, one sword this way. And then how does she do that where she's switching? And how do you do that where you're switching? It's, just, it's all based on this pattern of crossing and uncrossing, crossing and uncrossing. And if you can get uh, focused on that, think about cross, uncross, cross, uncross. And then number two, a V, a V, down and up, down and up. It's not always going to be a V. Sometimes you're going to do this, down. Sometimes you're going to do this. Going down this way. Sometimes it's it's coming this way, and then it's going here, and then it's adding different moves on the same side of the body, but it's all building off of that same Sinawali weaving idea of starting here. So if you get this, you have pretty much everything. Yes, make your own. Make your own. If you need to buy some, if you have more money and you're not patient, you don't like making your own stuff, or you've already made your own and you've moved past that, like I have. You can buy them from Amazon. They send them in palm sticks. I'll show you how to use a palm stick. Just a, a, a stick that goes in your palm. What about best martial arts weapon for street fight self defense? Is that palm stick? Koreans have something too. The short stick it has a little uh, string goes around your thumb. You whip it out. You whip it back. I'll have to make one. I've lost mine. I don't know where it is. So the one I got from Korea. So I'll make one. I'll show you how to use that. But short sticks. Any kind of force multiplier, anything you stick in your hand that makes you hit harder to defend yourself, 
is good, is a good weapon, is the best weapon. Some are not, and some people are still stuck in this idea. A gun, you need a gun. Gun's the best street fight self this way. Uh, maybe they don't allow the gun where you live. Maybe if you get caught with a gun because where you live or because of your past or your age or whatever, you're going to jail for seven years. So is the, the gun the best self-defense weapon, street fight self-defense weapon? Not always, not in every situation. If it's you and it's civil war and the world is uh, on fire or you live in a part of the world where the police aren't coming to help you or the military can't help you, then maybe yes. Or it's zombie apocalypse, it's the end of the world, you got to get in the head. Yes, maybe that's it. But maybe short of that, you live in a mostly civilized society. Maybe you put a couple sticks in your backpack, and then if someone asks you about your sticks, say, yeah, you know, they're, they're kind of, they're just, you know, they're practicing. They, they, it's my martial arts sticks. It helps me to focus. It's a moving meditation. It helps me clear my mind. It all depends on what your, um, how you think about it, how you speak about it, right? Or maybe it's that cane, the walking cane. Is that a better self-defense weapon? The knife. The knife, man. I can kill you with the knife. Yeah. Or I can kill you with these sticks. I can kill you with my hand. <laughs> Depending on the situation, right? Depending on the situation. Um, you can use a rock. You can use a chunk of concrete. By the way, we were doing this exercise yesterday, practicing that chunk of concrete. Crazy, right? It's all martial arts. It's all street fight. It's all self-defense. Yes, they're inconspicuous. It's a great word to say that it doesn't look like you're looking for trouble. You got a gun, and even if uh, you know you're warranted to carry, maybe you're supposed to carry whatever. It looks like you're ready for the highest level, lethal force. You have these. This looks like you know you're just going out. You need some extra training. You've been stuck in the house for six weeks. You need to get your willies out. You need to start to work out, right? Yes. So all self-defense. These are all self-defense weapons. All right. So let's get back to the workout. Let's finish up. I want you to start here again and cross your hands and uncross them with that V, the most basic one. And so what I'm doing here, you'll see my right hand and then my left hand crosses over on top of my right. And I have to do right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. But you can also bring the right hand on the inside. And then the left hand. See how now I'm switching? That's a level up. Now you're at level two. And then start to walk around and turn. Wherever your head goes, that's where your sticks follow. Right? Turn your head and see the threat. Turn your head, see the threat. Turn your head. And now you're starting to move. And then go lower. Bend down a little bit. Go higher. If you can, go on your knee and step back up. But you're turning. So this is the basic level, level two. Go back into this position now. You're going to chamber so they're both on one side of your body. One and over. Two and back. Start over. One, two. Start over. There's the V. Angle one. There's angle two. Angle two from, because you're on the other side already. You're just starting in a different beginning position, a different chamber position. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Six strikes total. One, two, three, four. Yeah, see, I love I love fighting with one stick more than I like fighting with two sticks, actually. I like the idea of a stick and then using that stick, taking away their weapon, or maybe you've got a stick and then you have that knife. And then you're fighting with two. Not for self, for me, it's more um, esoteric. It's more aesthetic. It's more the pleasing to my mind, in my mind's eye, to my eye, to learn how to be more uh, powerful and dynamic and learn how to do more lethal moves. Yes, some lethal moves in case you need them. But that's always best if you have a training partner. You're not always going to have a training partner, though. If you have a training partner, now you can hit the sticks together. But that sometimes is not good either because then you start practicing trying to hit their stick. Instead of thinking about striking and going through. Now, if you have a bag, you can practice on the bag. These things work really well, too, for most of the basic strikes. When you start to go down to the body, body, and I'll show you that here in 30 seconds. 
down to the knee, then it's nice to have like a long tall bag or a tree or a stack of tires. You see a lot of times in the Philippines, uh, they use a stack of tires. A lot of law enforcement in the Philippines use this weapon right here. And not only that, not just carrying it on the street, they also have their sidearm, the rifles, the tasers, they have all the other stuff too. But they use this for mental training. And then to teach them how to fight with an open hand. Because all those angles are the same angles. When you start to work with the uh, elbows, especially elbows, knees, and it all kind of builds off of the stick fight. Whether it's our knees, screama, or if you want to call it collie, but it starts in this position. All right, number two. So you learned this. This is like the most basic starting level. Level two, starting this chamber. One, two, three, and then your chamber here. One, two, three, and your chamber here. Two, three. You can do that lower. But I want to show you how to modify and put like two of them together. This is the next one I want you to learn. Starting the same chamber. One is the same. Two, go down to the knee. Striking down to the knee. Bring it back the same way you did when it was up here. So one down and back here. There's the third one. And then in. One over, down to the knee, back, under. Over. Knee, back, under. Over, knee, under. Over, knee, under. One, two, three. And then finally, doing these, go back to the uh, second one and start to move like you did on the most basic one. Turning first, going down, down to a knee, coming back up. If you can, go on to your back. That's another skill set. And then come up without stopping your flow. Without stopping the fight, pop back up. You have to have a strong core, strong legs, good balance, but practicing it will teach you that too. And then add that second one, high, we go heaven and earth, up here and down there. By the way, heaven and earth, if you haven't heard this before, I want to be the one to tell you this. Because some people get hung up on this idea of heaven being a religious concept in the martial arts, and then people who are from certain religions don't do martial arts at all. Because the uh, people who lead the church say, you can't. Just like Boy Scouts in America are not allowed to do martial arts because they're pacifists. And in their mind, martial arts is fine. Even though they're allowed to learn how to uh, shoot a bow, shoot a gun, they're not allowed to learn martial arts. Blows my mind. Not even judo. Not even, uh, not even any of the does, which is the way of improving your life through martial arts training, right? But they, yeah, I mean, if, you can use, if you have somebody to train with, it's awesome. If uh, if you hear the word, unless the school, some schools have a Jesus fish, and they're teaching, uh, they're saying, you know, we're a Christian school, which is fine, it's their school, they can do whatever they want. But we're a Christian school, and we believe in God and all that stuff, and, and we, we express that through our training, which is good, whatever, that's their school. Some schools, some Aikido schools especially, in, uh, there's a ninja in Ohio, who had, they have an actual... I, I did do the quotes of the ninja. And it's not a disrespect, it's just I don't believe in pretending that something exists in martial arts, like disappearing in a puff of smoke, uh, walking through a wall. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't work. The, the, the dim mock guy, the guy who you know goes, huh, throws energy and knocks the guy on the floor, that's all fakery. That's all those are martial artists who are trading on people's want and desire, they need to believe that there's this higher uh, energy that they can master that's going to give them the strength. That's not what you need. You need this. You need push-ups. You need hitting the bag. You need working with a partner. You need a good martial arts instructor. You need good sound techniques and good principles of self-defense. You don't need any of that fakery. You don't need ninja boots. <laughs> they wear ninja boots, which are really uh, carpenter's shoes. And they put their uh, the nail there, and they're on the roof, and they're holding the nail with your toes. That's a good carpenter. You hold the nail with your toes and you hit it with the other one, right? But I mean, that's that's what we're doing. Uh, it, it's not about that. But but I was uh, okay. That school they do um, uh, uh, Buddhist shrine and the Tantai Buddhism, the old style Buddhism. 
and they worship the trees and the rocks and stuff. It's fine, totally fine. I don't care. It's his school. But what I want you to understand is when we say heaven here, we're talking about the universe and stars. Thinking everything above the atmosphere of the earth is heaven. Or everything from the earth up is heaven. Everything from the earth down is earth. So if I say heaven, I mean up here. Cut me in half. This is heaven. If I go low to the ground and I start going low, I go low here and I start fighting down here, that's earth. I want to clear that up. That was even an issue. Probably wasn't. Anyway, that's your workout. That's the best uh, beginner tutorial. Poly sticks. You just got to get started. Get a pair. You said you made your own. That's what you need. You need to make your own, buy your own, whatever you do. Get started. Thank you so much for all your comments. In the chat, I'll see you on the next one.